submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. Today I tell the tale of a boy who promised to react to something one year ago and actually never did. Until today! Yes, finally! Today we'll be reacting to Are You Afraid of the Dark? After, after one year, after a whole year of waiting for this. We're, we're finally reacting to this. So we're going to watch a little bit of part two of it. So uh, let's go! Get into this very spooky, very spooky thing. I've never seen this in the daytime before. Yeah, it looks super different. Like, less spooky. I'm for it, spooky. I guess very spooky. I mean, you, you know, we're, we're all in the middle of the woods and it's all scary. Guys. Take a seat. I just want to say Explain that... yourself. Yeah, seriously, what's going on? I'm just as in the dark as the rest of you. What? How is that possible? I don't even know what's going on here. You know, I'm just as in the dark as everybody else. Also, I, I, I really honestly don't know what's going on here. I probably should watch part one first. Right, though, it's just, none of this makes any sense. None of this makes any sense to me either. I made up the story. I have nightmares about a creepy carnival, and I turn those nightmares into a story. That's it. And now the creepy carnival is real. I'm sorry. So you're telling me there's a creepy carnival right now? No, thank you. No, thank you. I say no. I say no to that. Maybe it's not the same carnival. Mr. Top Hat's not on the flyer. What this Mr. Top Hat guy? He's always popping up out of nowhere messing around with you. What, what's with this guy? I tell you, I tell you what this guy. It's literally called the Carnival of Doom. Maybe it's a coincidence? I went there before this meeting to check it out. Ah, come on. What's so scary about that? That looks like a regular old carnival. It looks like nothing's wrong there. It is just like I imagined it. And I googled the Carnival of Doom. Ditto. Yeah, same. Okay, we all did. We're not dumb. The point is, the Carnival of Doom has no social media presence. Nothing at all. Hmm, well that, well that right there, that's a bit odd, because most carnivals these days only have an Instagram page. It's, it's, it's a bit spooky. No website, no Wikipedia, nothing, not a zip. Maybe we're gonna have to look in places more, uh, physical. So are you suggesting we look in old newspapers or go to the library? Yeah. <laughs> I already did that. Ah, yes! Let's try to find, let's try to find out some stuff about this carnival. Got, got the book reading montage all ready to go. <laughs> So dusty. There's nothing anywhere. Okay, I spent the entire lunch period looking. Yeah, no, I found nothing too. I mean, this one's about attacking jack-o'-lanterns. So, you know, I found nothing on this. You know, nothing on the, you know, the carnival that you're talking about. You know, it is a good book though. There's only one way we're gonna find out if this is the same carnival for my story. We should go tomorrow night together. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I, I will not be coming because I don't leave my house in 2020. You know. I don't like to walk outside. I mean, it's like a hellscape out there. You don't know what's going to come out of there. You don't know what's going to come out of no. The things are going to come out of no. It's not good. It's a very scary landscape these days. Uh, this Thursday? I, I really, I really can't. I have lots of plans. Really serious plans. Yeah, and I'm not going to an evil carnival. Sounds fun, but hard pass. Hard? No, no thank you. I'm going to go back to reading Attack of the jack o -Lanters. No thank you. Yeah, no offense, Rachel, but I'm staying far away from that place. There's something else you guys need to consider. I don't even want to say it out loud because I hope I'm wrong. Nearly all of my nightmares about Mr. Top Hat involve him taking kids. It's Mr. Top Hat guy. You don't, you don't sound like a good person. Just like my story. If this carnival is a carnival for my nightmares, the same carnival for my story, Adam went missing the same day the carnival came to town. I think Mr. Top Hat took him. Oh, <laughs> seems, this seems like a pretty, this seems like a pretty big issue over here. Now, am I still going alone? Or are you all going to join me? Yeah, see, you know, I, I don't really know about that. You know, you know, I got a dentist appointment. You know, I got a lot of things to do. Nope. No. The heart is not imaginable. Yeah, what you just said made it fantastic worse. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, please. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm getting out of here. You know, I, I, I got to leave. I got things to do. Adam went missing the same day the carnival came to town. We should go tomorrow night. We'll figure this out together. Welcome to the Carnival of Doom. Remember, it's all part of the show. Oh boy, well this is a pretty intense situation. Thank you guys for watching this. I was only able to watch a little bit of it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I, I hope it was worth a, year, uh, a year's long wait. I'm really tired. I, I want to go to bed. I have a headache. But I wanted to get this one done for you guys, so, so you know, I finally have some closure to the Are You Afraid of the Dark thing. But bye guys!
What crap do we have on the interwebs today? Let's see here. They did.